All right, so I guess Don sent us an Amazon uh, Eureka vacuum. We haven't had one in a while since a freak that lived here broke our previous vacuum. Yeah. Okay, so I guess I'll show you guys how it works real quick, just so you're aware. Uh, hopefully it doesn't break. It seems like it might last a while. There's a button on top with an unlock, and that'll take the entire canister out. Then it has instructions on the back on how to clean the little bowl and tap out the dust in the upper part which opens straight from right here, and that'll just unlatch and uh, go straight into your filter and all the crap like that. <sighs> Anyways, um, the bottom also opens right here for even more dust disposal, so say you just wanna use it normally and you don't wanna clean the filter yet, that's how you do that. Um, it all just sort of snaps back on really simply. You just press it into place if you align it right. Um, and it just goes right back in. This uh, tube here simply turns and locks into place, so it'll go in, it'll put a little pin in here, and you turn it, and it pops into place. And uh, it goes down into this spot right here, not here, here. And uh, this is also a turn mechanism, you just turn it and put it in and out. So you could, uh, you know, then there's, well, I assume you would attach yeah, this here to the vacuum unit or something. I'm so confused. What? Why is there an extra... To like, you know, vacuum with things? Yeah, why? I guess... Why don't we plug it in and see how it actually works? Because this doesn't make sense. Okay. <sighs> oh. <laughs> okay, I plugged it in. Okay, so let's see here. If I were to pull the cord off of here. Is that just storage? On the top? Yeah, I guess it would suck through from here, so I guess you'd have to attach it to below to use the suction from this. Because that's directly where it would suck from. I don't know what you're even saying, but okay. Well, let's see here then. Then I'll plug in, say, some cleaner like this one. See if this is the right port. Um, okay, I turn it on. Where's even the switch? Um. <laughs> Like that. Okay, automatically just feel like that. Cool. Um, it's incredibly good. Look how much uh, hair of yours it picked up. The little hairs that fall out of your head. Well, of course it's my hairs. Yeah, um, so it's got good suction and everything. I guess I'll test it for carpet now. Oh, yeah, I guess if it goes up there, that's weird. That's what it does. I don't know. I don't know what this is. <laughs> what? But it has to go down there because that's where it spins up the dirt, you'd think. Or does it suck straight into the center? I have no idea. Well, it looks like it's working. There's all the dirt right there. It's, it's in there, so... No, but... Okay, yeah, go ahead, then. That's how it works? That's confusing. I'm an asshole. I don't know how the vacuum cleaners work. I guess it's pretty awesome. Better than old vacuum cleaners. It smells pretty good. It smells like honey. One more thing I'd advise. Yeah. If you have as short as carpet and crappy as carpet as ours, you should probably put it on bare floor instead of low carpet on the settings. Probably. Because this is this is not even classified as carpet, it's so low. I like to add a little herbs while we vacuum. Okay, I'll move this chair and we'll vacuum. Okay, everybody, there's our demonstration. Okay, so that didn't pick up anything because he did have it wrong. 
This doesn't go anywhere. I doubt it does. That's just the storage. If it does, that'd be bizarre. It's supposed to go down there, uh, so then it can suck up from there, round and through into the chamber. All right, give it a try again. Okay. See, there it goes. Now it's actually doing something. Swirling the dust in there. It sure smells good. Pretty exciting. Yeah, it smells like, uh, I'm not going to lie, like fireweed honey. Weird. Well, we cleaned like half of the room, just like the main carpet, I guess, from uh, computer, just a little bit near it, over to the door, and it kept picking up so much impossible amounts of dirt. We had to dump it, and we aren't even, like, we got to go longer. This is weird. I mean, we cleaned it with the shop vac, you know, scrubbing at the floor. So, uh, I'd say this is a pretty good vacuum, I guess. Better than ones from the past. I agree. Not sure how long it'll last, but, I mean, yeah, it's it kind of... It'll, it'll, yeah, that's great. Sounds like it's kind of going to explode someday. Yeah. I hope it'll last for a little while. It's pretty cute. Ooh, evil dust. Alright, I guess I can snap it right back up in place when you swing it. And then, let's see, the top, uh, over here. Open that up without breaking it. You gotta be careful with that. You gotta like, pull it over. That'll break if you aren't careful. It's still a little plastic. That one. dust filter is probably still fine. Seems to be, actually. Like... Yeah, it's, it, it yeah. lasts quite a while. And then you clean it, just pretty simple. Sets right there. Yeah. All right, let's get back to it. Uh, yeah, that's a little silly. Whatever. Yeah, it's, it, it's what it is. Yeah, it's cheapo, but it seals. That's good. For no. All right, so I was vacuuming downstairs. It turned into my personal uh, movie-making paradise. And there... I thought it was leaves as I was vacuuming, but I have good eyes, so I said, that can't be a dead frog. It looks more like leaves, but it was a dead frog, so I went to suck it up because it's completely desiccated, and it had swallowed a penny, and it was inside of it. Well, what the hell? There were pennies down there. It ate a penny and died. I don't know how it got down there and why it didn't hop back out. That's crazy. Well, yeah, huh.